Surprise, surprise, another rainy day. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the John Doc YouTube channel. And as you guys can tell by the title, we are running into a little issue with the black car. We're trying to get all the parts ordered up so we can have the car completed by like Tuesday or Wednesday. We were planning a test on Thursday, but as of right now, they're calling for rain, more rain. It's supposed to rain all the way on Thursday. So how are we supposed to test a race car when it is raining? And yes, finally, a car that I can call a race car. I'm not claiming this to be a street car. It is a race car, but um, getting the shocks back tomorrow from Benson Motorsports, so we're good to go there. Uh, I'm kind of going through everything. Got a bunch of little fittings, little, some little things ordered. Some T-bolt clamps for the charge pipe. Um, we got uh, some more oil filters coming. We got parachutes on the way. Uh, we got a fire bottle on the way. So we, we're, we're going through the list and we're running into a major issue with the fuel filter. Fill me in, Ben. Give us, give us the rundown. So this is the fuel filter on the car. Yes. So what happens is this is an older style. The new ones are like a, a billet aluminum construction. It's the cast rib style. So this is like your it doesn't work. You get fuel going in the top and coming out the bottom, or fuel going in the bottom and coming out the top. You got going, going in the top and coming out the bottom. Okay. Comes goes in here, comes out here. Okay. This is the bottom where the O-ring is and your bypass. So should you ever have a restriction, it's the bypass valve. Okay. This sits in the bottom here. This normally stays on the car, like an oil filter screws on. And then you unscrew the bottom. It's like cartridge bottom. style, essentially. Yeah. This is this would be the cartridge. Yeah. So this this stainless steel ring right here seals against these two or two Viton O rings. Okay. Right here. So this sits on it. Yep. It sits on it perfectly. Let me get it in there. So oh, I see what you mean. Yep. And that creates a seal from like one side to the other. Right. And then you will take this, put it up in there, and then this will stay on the car. And you screw it on. Well, this doesn't normally move. You're not good at screwing, are you? I don't know about all that. <laughs> Pow, fuel filtration. But what is the issue? We are missing the piece that goes to the top. So, so let's hear it. Essentially, zero filtration. Yes. There's none. Like, what happens is it has to seal. Like, or else you just don't, it doesn't filter at all. This, what happens in here is fuel enters from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right here around. It's supposed to go in. But instead, and just. Fill up this entire cavity all the way up to the top and be sealed up here as well. And then force through. Force through. And then up and, then and out. Up through here. But right now, it's just going up this wall and overflowing. So literally zero filtration. Right. None. So we gotta fix that. <laughs> yes. Nothing, this is pretty much, this pretty much sums up how this build has been going. I said this build, the car was supposed to be turnkey. Not turnkey. The problem with this is, on this website here, it calls this. Calls that. Yes, this is the, um, the older style cast ribbed filter housing and they have the element but, but we don't need we need the element but we also need the piece to go with it right it's supposed to look like this it, we're missing this up top yeah so hmm. i don't see this in existence anymore anywhere. extinct it's like the dinosaurs gone forever yeah i'm not i'm just not seeing it or, hey chris you want to buy the salty chicken? It's turnkey. Yeah. Turnkey. You want it? Uh, Phil, you want the silver vet? It's turnkey. <laughs> turnkey. I mean, you can turn the key and then turn the wheel and put I it mean, in. It's, essentially, this is turnkey. I mean, if that's what you consider turnkey, is that turbo bullet turnkey? <laughs> <laughs> There's so many different variations of turnkey. Oh my God. Unbelievable. God, it's just like banging your head against the wall, is it not? Does it ever stop? I thought we were. I, I thought we were good. No, I, I, this is why you don't buy other people's projects. Oh. Prime example. Look at that. Yeah. Honestly, a, honestly. Cow? Yeah, I built the cow. How many problems have you had out of it? I have the same problem. All the time. Just the driver, right? Well, no, it's not a problem. It's just wear and tear. Just wear and tear. Just wear and tear. Oh. And the driver. And the driver. Hey, you're about to know about that wear and tear life. Replacing oh, yeah. that band. Yeah, no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
just comes with the filter, the housing, everything besides the, the actual mount, the red piece. But the, will the red piece stay? Oh, then that, that's not too off. I mean, it's still kind of, it's still a pain in the ass. That's what? what we can do. Take the handy out and put your good old small block 350 in there. Don't worry about that. that. Don't worry about that fuel <laughs> filtration. And honestly, there's probably a fuel filter out there that, that will spin right on there, honestly. That just it's like a 13 16 by 16. You're just gonna go and get some like Duramax fuel filter. Yeah, honestly, honestly, dude, like look, uh, you're just going by size. Ben, why does this have a uh, uh, paper towel and uh, microfiber on it? We don't want to get cut. What happened? I banged my knee. <laughs> Unbelievable. How many times have you walked around this car? A lot. And then all it takes is once. Yeah, I hear you. We, Bill, we gotta get some chops. You know why this car is going to go fast? Because it's not on fuel tech. Oh my god, dude. Get out of here. You and your fuel tech. Holly to the front. Holly or fuel tech? Holly or fuel tech? Everybody says Holly because the only car that's in here that starts on the Holly. No, what do you do? What do you runs on the fuel tech. I mean, that one barely. That's because that's. Barely? Barely. That's because y'all bought like. That's probably not even fuel tech. What is it? That's probably from like y'all. Probably, somebody probably bought that from Alibaba. <laughs> That's fuel tech. That's a, yeah. <laughs> fuel tech was created on Alibaba. Someone took a Holly, sent it to Alibaba, and said, "Name it fuel tech." Pow. That's impossible. A Holly box. A Holly box looks like a DVR, and a fuel tech looks like. Oh, it looks like it looks like a Game Boy. It looks like a Game Boy. Yeah. If I showed you fuel tech on the computer, you'd be like, okay, that's nice. You mean Holly? Yeah, no. Yeah, no, ho ho no, no, no. Oh, no. You showed me. You showed me. I've seen Holly already. Holly, I'm dead, I'm dead ass. Holly looks like a black and white screen from a, like a Mac 1. No, that's what it looks like. You, what are you? Like fuel tech has five. color. Holly has no color. It's black Holly and white. Is, okay, hold on. Wait. Here's my final argument, okay? Because we're going straight off facts, okay? Holly has nothing but color. Here's my, oh, listen. We're going straight up facts. You can't argue a fact, okay? Or you could try. Did one of the cars in this realm that have Holly on there get gapped by a donk? Facts. Facts. Wow. Holly to the front. That's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> wrong, Roll the clip. Oh, get him, Bill! Get him, Bill! Oh. That's just wrong. Hey, another fun fact. I can pull my own transmission out in like 30 minutes. Uh, I, I pulled my, <laughs> wait. I pulled mine out by myself. You get, oh, yeah, what happened to the two bolts on the side, right? It was two bolts. It was a height issue. You know who, you know who remembers that? Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, guys. Can't tell by the location of the hat. Not having it right now. I am, uh. I miss the boosted rooster. I miss the consistency of racing that car literally like three times a week. Uh, I miss having the cow running like three times a week with the boosted rooster because then we have endless opportunities to race. I know it rains every day, so we can't race. So I'm stuck talking to you. So for those of you guys that aren't like, wow, John, your voice is annoying and you talk way too much, I appreciate you guys sticking around. But back to Hemi kicking our ass, season 35 it feels like um doing everything that i'm told from um uh, a bunch of people i'm trying to do it the correct way um for some odd reason i don't know where it is where's the push rod literally adjuster just killed itself took out a push rod brand new push rod um here it is does this one have the smoked adjuster in it no that one's got a good adjuster look at this I don't even know how to get the camera to focus on this. Bro. Bro. What? So. Oh God, I don't even know. I don't even know. The push rod length is correct. Everything is happy. The adjuster has the correct amount of lash in it. So, some people said adjust your rockers to um, 15 thou, some said 20 thou, some said 10 thou. So we went 15, it's right in the middle. So uh, the adjuster sits on there correctly, the push rod length is accurate. Um, 
why it just burned it up, I don't know. So a lot of people are saying, so I, I talked to uh, one of the guys that has been super helpful in all of this. He's got a YouTube channel, which I'll link it down below. He's got a pro-charged Mustang with a Hemi in there, Andy Fangman, and he, um, we've been talking this evening because I don't know why. This, it was number, uh, number two intake literally took a shit so i just put a new pusher on there but everything has been adjusted correctly and it's literally the only one that ate itself up now these push rods have like four minutes of runtime on them that's it see god i don't i don't understand how it gets oiled i really don't okay let me just explain something to everyone at home that doesn't know just don't mind me leaving that open for one second ls push rod now obviously way different engine construction but an LS push rod literally is hollow. Can you see the light? Look at that. You can see through it. It is hollow. Oil will come up through there and that will lubricate the rocker arms. Great, great. I mean, that's awesome, sweet. Shout out to GM in their engineering. GM engineering to the front. LS motor to the front. This is why I run LS motors all the time, not Hemi's, because this is driving me up a wall. So, God, I don't understand how it oils. Solid push rod, no hole. As you can see, no hole on this whatsoever. If I'm shaking the camera, I apologize. I got the jitters, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm just fired up. So, from speaking with Andy, it has to oil through, like, the whole rocker assembly. And then oil down onto the push rod. But... For four minutes of runtime, there's no way a push rod should be, I mean, the thing idled, and you guys saw it, it was the video I put up on the LS Nasty YouTube channel, which I'll, I'll link that in the description below, because you guys need to subscribe to that if you don't. Ran the car, verified timing, revved it up twice, shut it off. Super simple. Four minutes of runtime, absolutely smoked, but only one. Like, I don't understand. We've adjusted it correctly. Um, whoa, hold on. No, that, I'm so confused. I don't even know what's going on. This one looks like it's... No, that's just like some material. I don't know. Something looks different right here. Something's not right. Does this not have its lash cap on there? Or whatever. Something. I think I've made a discovery, folks. Why does this one look different than that one? Oh, this... Dude, something is up. What is going on? Bill! Help! I've had enough. Number two just burned up. Push rod, four minutes of runtime. Tell me, there's some, is the valve different? Is the spring different? Look at that, the lash cap. Oh, okay, yeah, it's a cat. Why does the cat look like? Why is this one different than all of the other ones? Why does the cat look like a hitter with a hammer? This or this? The cat, the cat. Like, the These cat. are like cracked. But look at this one. That's different than that. So, I mean, is this the wrong valve? Is this just the wrong spring and retainer? Oh, I got something. Oh, come home. Welcome yeah. home. Texas P, rotate the assembly somewhere around. Yeah, let's take the Hemi out for a 363. Sure like, if we had this in there, it would be running by now. I, just think about this. I put engines together. Mm -hmm. They run great. Yeah, I don't know who put that together. Who do you want to put that together? Dude, but no, is this not, some, something's not right here. What's my aggravation level right now? Do you know what you're doing right now? What do I have going on here? So, just trying to see how the valve train is getting oil because we don't really know right now. It doesn't make sense. Oil comes up through the head elsewhere, other than obviously not the push rod. It's not so the push rod. The push rods are on, solid. A lot of other setups that I've seen is the oil comes through the actual rack and through the rockers that way. But all this looks solid. What is this right here? What are those little holes? See, I don't yeah. know. But it, it's like, it's got, uh, it's threaded. Can... Maybe we should do this in all there it is. Just like the LS head, you have to detorque these. In order? Everything's in order. Like a star. I gotta... Cancel my whole clothing line. Hemi nasty now. <laughs> Gotta get rid of this. God, and these bullhorns suck. Everyone's like, don't put zoomies on it. I'm telling you, folks. I don't care what you say. Well, just take the bullhorns off. You know you can detach it. I'm not even worried about it right now because it's on there. 
and I'm about to just go home out of anger here in about 15 minutes. I'm Petty John right now. I'm Petty John, John Petty. Right. Insert a picture of John looking like Richard Petty right here. Well, the joke didn't start until like 5 minutes in the day. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why do you have to take the rock or something? Turnkey, that's why. Turnkey. I mean, turnkey. That's all I got to say. That should be the name of the damn car. I don't see this card should be called Turn Key. I don't see a key in here. So, what keys are you turning? You know, if, if it did have an LS, we wouldn't have this problem right now. I it swear really to would. you, if it had an LS in it, we've been at the track for a long time already. Even if we bought a jacked up car, as we see, <laughs> it still would be at the track. Alright, we're going to pull this off. We'll catch up with you guys once we have it off and take a look at it. What are we pulling this out? The LS. Oh, I don't know. This is getting uh, it's getting a little rough here. So uh, we got the standoff and trying to figure out how it oils. And Wes, do you? The biggest issue, honestly, is that nobody's motors are, are the, similar. No, everyone's. So every, everything on this motor is pretty much one off. So it's like. I'm just wondering, like on this, oil has to get to the rockers somehow, and. Honestly, I don't know how. Like, there's right here. Look at this. Right here, next to the stud, there's a little hole. All right, and grab me one of those rockers. Yeah. See, I don't understand how they get oil. I really don't. I really. I. I honestly. So, I mean, they all have the the, the oil and passages. See, there's one right there. Yes. I wonder where's number four or number two. Number two, we were the one that we were having an issue with. How does that say it's flat What would be number two? The oh, uh, hold on, I'm having a brain blast. Oh, uh, I know exactly what happened. What? This shaft's in backwards. Is it? It's got to be. Look at that hole right there. Inside that. Uh -huh. Feel like you're about to present a port. I am. I found the issue. Folks at home, very proud of myself. Proud moment here. Uh, I was about to get the engine hoist and pull the Hemi out of the car and put it up on Turbo Bullet, and I found the issue. Wes, we got it. I felt I, I, that was. I thought we were in trouble here. Can you believe it's that simple? Honestly, though, like. Well, this would explain why other push rods were getting burnt up. So pretty mm -hmm. much, what had happened was uh, this rocker. Shaft. I'm trying to get the terms right so y'all don't flame me in the comments. So, as you guys see, these shafts sit on the stud of the rocker stand, and that's how it sits. The adjuster down here, and uh, it's on the valve spring up there. Now, if you look, I don't know, you guys probably won't be able to see, but I will tell you guys. Right here, there's a little dimple. I, I don't know. This don't camera know. sucks at focusing. Hold on, give it a second. But right yeah. there... You can't tell right there where my fingers, there's a little dimple. So the oil is going to come up through the stand and it's going to oil right here. It's going to oil right here, right there, right there. So as you can see, it's on the right side of every stand. So if you put this on there, the oil is going to go through this shaft and then it's going to go through the rocker and it's going to oil the top of the valve spring. Well, we found that this hole to receive the oil is on the wrong side. So it's on the left side, not the right side. So essentially, if it was like this, it would oil properly, but the rocker's on backwards. So we need to pull this shaft out, flip it around, put it back in there, put a new adjuster, go through, torque everything back down, and then we should be good to go. I mean, honestly, four minutes of runtime to burn up a push rod like that is absolutely horrendous. That explains it. Um, it was getting no oil to the top of the push rod. Total roller coaster of emotions, Wes. How are you feeling? Accomplished. Accomplished. <laughs> Accomplished. Yeah, that's to think we fought you know pulling the front bumper up you know what? chicken for like two days it's the way of the road it's the way of the road sometimes she goes today we, we conquered it she went she went this is something that we should have picked up but i guess you don't really notice it until uh the issue is present so the issue presented itself and luckily we made short time of this at least it was here not at the track yeah that would suck i mean we can imagine we're at the track and we just keep shoving push rods in it a push rod and a new adjuster every time it just goes in there and absolutely smokes it Hopefully after that, the engine's good to go. I hate taking it back apart again, but um, we just gotta go and torque everything back down. Push rods are the correct length. We did order spares for this reason, but. Oiling is number one. Without Oiling's key. Oiling, yeah, without proper oiling, you can't get anything done. 
Lubrication is key. Can't do anything without lubrication. Just the way of the road. You sound like you're sponsored by like. <laughs> All right, well, if you guys haven't already, go and check out the LS Nasty YouTube channel. I know I've been mentioning it a lot, but we're going to put some killer footage out there. We got a new vehicle coming to the channel here shortly. Um, I didn't tell anyone What's about that? that. I didn't even tell you about this. A new vehicle coming. Oh. You have to stay toned. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. We got merch in the description below. Get your American flag shirts before. 4th of July, which is coming up. It's Laura's birthday, so everyone wish her happy birthday on the 4th of July. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, subscribe. We got it fixed. Dab my way out of here.